In this video, we're going to continue our conversation about factoring polynomials, but this time we're going to look specifically at some special case polynomials. Okay, so the special cases are going to be perfect squares and difference of squares. And again, we're going to employ our calculator as well to help us uh, more efficiently solve these. So perfect squares is where the middle term equals twice the first term times the last term. Okay, so a perfect square is when you're going to have x plus 2 squared, or something like that. You're only going to have one binomial, but it's squared. That's a perfect square. Um, difference of square is where the middle term goes away. So instead of ax squared plus bx plus c, you just have ax squared plus c. Okay, and to get that to happen, your binomial factors have different signs which is why we call it a difference of squares. So let's dig in. Um, yeah. So let's dig in. Let's work these two. Okay, so if a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right, if this is the format that the problem takes, okay, then we know that it is a perfect square. So 16 is a perfect square. It's 4 squared. A is 1, so we know 2 times 1. We know B is 4 times 4. Well, that does indeed give us 8. So we know that x, 1x, plus 4. I'm going to get rid of this 1 to clear it up. So x plus 4 squared is the perfect square for that. Now let's look at difference of squares. So difference of squares is the same uh, idea, 2ab and b squared, but our sign is different right here. Um, perfect squares will only happen if it's uh, all positive. Uh, difference of squares... Um, sorry. You know, perfect squares will happen when it's all positive or only one of them is negative like we have here in the second example. So let's look. B squared is going to be 6 squared. A is 1, so 2 times 1 times 6 does give us 12. So we're good there. So this is going to be x minus 6 squared. And there you go. So that's a perfect square example. So go ahead, pause the video here, and I want you to try these two um, on your own in your notes. If you have any questions, write them off to the side, and we will pick up uh, in class. All right. So now difference of squares. So difference of squares, remember the middle term drops out, and you're going to have a different sign. So if you see positive and you see negative. So let's look, let's a squared minus b squared. So we've got the minus down, so that's good. Let's check. a squared, 25 is a perfect square, so that's 5 squared. 36x is also, so 36 is a perfect square, and x is a square. So this is 6x squared. Well, that fits. So it's going to be a minus b times a plus b. So this is going to be... Um, this is going to be 6, I'm oh, sorry. Um, so 6x plus, nope. Uh, so 5 minus 6x, and 5 plus 6x. All right, that's going to get us what we need. So I want you to try these two difference of squares on your own. Um, go ahead, work it out in your notes. If you have any questions, write it off to the side, and we'll talk about it in class. Um, so we're going to talk about this uh, in class, but what I'd like for you to do is there are five different uh, polynomials off to the right, and I want you to classify them as either difference of squares, a perfect square, 
or a trinomial that is not a perfect square. Sorry, there are six. Uh, five on the right and that one down at the bottom right here. Okay, it's either a difference of squares, perfect square, or isn't a perfect, yeah, difference of squares, perfect squares, or non-perfect square. Okay, we looked at in this video, we looked at how to factor a polynomial. Uh, actually, we looked at how to factor a polynomial in the last video. In this video, we looked at how to factor difference of squares and how to factor perfect squares. Remember your homework, other than watching this video and taking notes, uh, you need to finish arithmetic in Khan Academy. Um, that will be due Friday, September 11th by midnight, 90% uh, or better, and screenshot needs to be uploaded to Canvas. If you have any questions, uh, please bring them to class or feel free to email me.